So, what is an IP address? An internet protocol address is a numerical label assigned to each device connected to a computer network that uses the internet protocol for communication. IP multicast is a method of sending IP datagrams to a group of interested receivers in a single transmission. An IP address is a 32-bit address. The IP addresses are unique and universal. What is an Ethernet address? The Ethernet address, or often referred as the MAC address, is a device's hardware address. Each device on a local area network must have a unique MAC address assigned. The Ethernet address is 48 bits long and normally displayed as 12 hexadecimal digits. The first question, we need to change the multicast IP address to an Ethernet multicast physical address. So this is the steps and explanation for this question. Firstly, we must remember this number to subtract one by one. Next, separate the values. Then we started with first values, 232. We subtract it one by one and if the number can subtract, it will be one and if the subtract will become negative number we put it zero two thirty two can subtract by one twenty eight so we we'll put it one then the balance of subtraction will give us one hundred four one hundred four subtract by next number sixty four it can subtract so put it 1 then will give us the balance 14 then 14 subtract by next number 32 and then we put it 1 then will give us the balance 8 8 subtract by next number which is 16 so 8 subtract by 16 can give us negative number then we put it 0 next we still use 8 for subtract by next number then 8 subtract by 8, 8 can subtract, then we put 1, so the balance is 0. We still need to subtract by next number, which is 4. Then, 0 subtract by 4, it will be negative, and we put it 0. Then, 0 still must subtract by 2 and 1, and we can get the 0 and 0. So, the result is... One 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 zero one zero zero zero. Now convert the binary number into the hex value. First, separate the binary numbers into a group of four digits. We need to multiply the one by two to zero power, and then the second one by two to first power, then two square, then two to the third power. 2 to the third power is 8, 2 squared is 4, 2 to the first power is 2, and 2 to the zero power is 1. So basically, we just need to add this number because they carry a 1 with them. So 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. Okay, then our 0 is become 0. Now for this one, do the same 8, 4, 2, 1. So we're gonna add 8, 4, and 2 because they have 1 value as a shape with them. So 8 plus 4 plus 2 is 14. Now we need to convert 14 numbers into hexadecimal values. So we're gonna replace with 14 with E. Then next 4 zero digits is 0. The next 4 digits we add 8, 2 and 1 because they have one value associated with them. 
So, 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 11. Then, 11 is B. So, next 4 digits, we just take 3 digits because 23 bits. Then, 2 only associate and the hex value is 2. So, the final answer is 01005E. 2B, 0E, 07. First half of multicast will always be 01005E. The second half of the multicast comes from the last 23 bits of multicast IP address. Hello everyone, now I'm going to answer the second question. So, as stated in the question, we will firstly pick the number 238. So, the number 238 need to be subtracted with 128. The number 128 can be subtracted with 238. So, we put 1. When both number can be subtracted, we will get 110. As shown in the picture, 110 need to be subtracted with 64. As 64 is the next number after 128. So, the number 64 can be subtracted with with 110 so you put 1 but both number can be subtracted put 1 right so after that we subtract them both and we will get 46 after that we subtract it with number 32 so the number 32 can be subtracted with 46 you put 1 when both number be subtracted we'll get 14 next we might subtract it with number 16 so number 16 cannot be subtracted with number 14 so it put 0 so we will need to subtract it to the next number which is 8 so the number 8 can be subtracted we need to put 1 after that we subtracted them both and we will get 6 after that we so need to subtract it with number 4 so the number 4 can be subtracted with number 6. Same process, we put 1. After that, we subtract it with number 2. So we need to put 1. After that, we will get 0. When the number turns to 0, place number 0 at the blank. So, next one, we will turn the binary number to hexadecimal number so the first one we will try to, to convert number 238 which we had turned it into binary so we divided the number to two section okay number nine we got the number, the binary number as 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 0, 1. We put number 8421 underneath the binary number. On the first binary number, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, it's actually turned to 0. Next one, we get number 8 and 1, we'll get 9. So, we take all of the hexadecimal number. So the result will be 01005E54182 and 09.